today as well talk about increased calls for a COVID inquiry, a public inquiry into the handling of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. And this comes in the day that figures have been released to Pader Tobin, the TD and the leader of Aintu, that revealed 27% of COVID deaths happened in nursing homes. So over a quarter, over a quarter of people who died from COVID in this country died in our nursing homes, which is a shocking statistic, I think, by anyone's standards. But I'm not sure does it qualify as all that surprising. Not if we really put ourselves back to where we were two and three years ago. And it gives me no pleasure to say this, but there was an attitude at the time amongst some policymakers and some medical professionals that nursing home residents were kind of expendable. That was the view. I doubt it was ever stated expressly. I doubt it was ever written down. But there was evidence for that at the time. Anecdotally, certainly in terms of how the outbreak was managed in the early days. I know, and I've told this story here before, I know of a nursing home in the Midlands that was approached by the local hospital. That hospital was clearing the decks before COVID took hold and before they were inundated with patients. They said to the nursing home, we want you to take these four patients Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, nursing homes said, absolutely grand, no problem, just do a COVID test on them first. And the hospital refused. They said, no, we're not doing it because it's not national policy to test patients going from hospitals to nursing homes. It wasn't in the early days. Now, the upshot of that was that the nursing home manager stood his ground and said, well, that's fine, but we're not going to take them until you do a test. Grudgingly and under much protest, the hospital tested the patients and lo and behold, They had COVID. They had COVID and they would have spread COVID right throughout that nursing home. And they had to have known, they had to have known in the hospital that there was a possibility that those patients had COVID. That's why they didn't want to test him because they strongly suspected they probably had COVID. But the attitude was nursing home residents, they're screwed anyway. And you know what? Let's focus instead on saving other people, which is actually a different way of saying let's focus on people we think are more worthy of saving, which is an appalling attitude, which is why we need a public inquiry.